Hello and welcome to Koala Dolls. Today I have a tub. This is my stock box of dolls that I have uh, found from various op shops, markets and such things. These, they're not that, but anyway. Um, and I just thought, you know, I need to sort it out and I wanted to do a video because I'm kind of obsessed with doll videos. So I thought I would, uh, you know, sort it out and uh, have a go at filming it and see what happens. So, first of all, these are just some fashions that are $1.50 each from Kmart. Nothing too exciting, just for me to put my little naked dolls in if I need to. Um, now onto the actual dolls. So some of these, I want to keep for customs. Some of them I will want to restore into something resembling their kind of former glory. And some of them I will just give to some of the local children in the neighborhood to play with because I'm not interested in them. So you guys can help me sort them out. Now this girl I picked up a few days ago for $2, as you can see on her leg there. She is a Shibajuku girl. And she is so pretty. I love her two-tone hair. She has some of her original outfit. This girl, I think, is going to be a restoration project. I'm going to wash her hair, try and maintain some of these crimp little curls. You can hear my dog in the background. She's not too happy that I've locked her out, but <laughs> she'll survive. Anyway, um, yeah, she's she's definitely in the restoration pile, I think. Now uh, this one, I picked her up the other day. Uh, I can't remember how much. And I must have already taken the price sticker off. Probably only a couple of dollars, a dollar maybe, from the op shop. And she is a large da girl. Shush! She's a large da girl. Her hair is so soft and curly. Definitely a restoration project, although I will need to get a new outfit because look at her eyes. Look how shimmery and pretty they are. Oh, I'll have to get rid of that mark. A bit of acne cream should do that. But yeah, I love the articulation on these dolls. It's a shame their arms aren't articulated, but their legs, and they do that, that motion with their legs as well. Her eyes are just gorgeous. I love them and her hair. So yeah, restoring her. Now this is a Barbie, I can't even remember where I got her from. She must be some sort of fashionista. What does it say? 2015 Mattel. I'm not sure, but she's definitely, you know, like the modern Barbies, not articulated, no snaps or anything. But her face is just beautiful. And this beautiful red hair. I don't know what all these marks on her are. They will definitely need to be fixed. But she is going to be restored and I'm going to find her a beautiful, beautiful outfit to wear. Okay, here we have a Moana. I picked her up for $2 from the up shop. She comes with um, articulated elbows, articulated knees. And I just love this body sculpt. Oh, articulated torso as well. Yes. Um, I love this body sculpt because it's quite different to, say, something like this. <laughs> Same height doll, completely different body type. So, yeah, she's going to be a custom, I think. Her hair's not worth saving, and I'm not, I don't know, I've never seen Moana. So, I have no attachment to the character, but I do love her sculpt. So, she can go in the customizing pile. I'll just kind of rearrange my piles here. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, this one. Oh my god. I got her yesterday uh, for $2. She is a live doll. I don't know if this is her original shirt or not. I'm, I'm not too... What does it say? Oh, the shirt says Barbie on the tag. Can you see that? Barbie. Um, so yeah, obviously that's not her shirt. Pants seem to fit pretty well. She's got a little wrist cuff, little boots, so yeah, I might need to find a different outfit for her, but she's one I want to restore. Her hair is so soft. So yeah, and obviously the thing with the live dolls is they they have wigs. 
So their heads, can, their hair, their heads, their hairs can come off. <laughs> um, some lift dolls I find kind of scary because you can see the wig cap when their hair's back, and then their eyes are very realistic because they're inset eyes. But this one, I think if I keep the fringe styled and sort of fluff it around, I don't know. I think she'll be quite a good one to restore. I have done a custom with a lift doll body before, which you can see on my Instagram at Koala Dolls. Uh, so it'll be nice to have a more um, restored version. Okay, what next? Oh, another Barbie. Not sure if she's meant to be. She's a 2001. Not sure what Barbie she is, really. But she's quite pretty. I think she's going to be a custom, though. I have no attachment to her or knowledge of her. She has the bend and snap knees. Her earrings are quite, quite interesting. So if anyone knows who this is, maybe I will restore her if I have a, um, have a reason to, but otherwise she can go in the custom pile, go hang out with Moana over there. Oh yes, here is a uh, headless Barbie. There's quite a few of these because I like to steal their heads and put them on different bodies. Um, yeah, so she can stay for spare parts for custom. <laughs> Oh, a random fake doll. What does it say on her undies? Abby. She's very hollow plastic. Like, she does not feel nice. I think I got her in like a bag at the op shop or in a doll lot or something. But my plan is just to steal her head because her face sculpt's not bad. It's a bit more cartoonish than a normal Barbie. Bigger eyes. Quite pretty. She's got earring holes. With a bit of TLC and a reroute, she might come up quite pretty. So she's definitely a custom. Okay, here we have a, she's a Disney doll. I'm assuming she's Belle or something, you know, like I'm not, I'm just not a fan. Her hair's, uh, she might go in the donate pile. I'm sure some child somewhere will really enjoy, enjoy her. So <laughs> donate piles over there. We don't care about them enough to keep them on screen. Um, oh, this, oh, I'm, so happy. I found her for three dollars at the op shop. Obviously she's an LOL OMG. Her outfit is a bit naff looking now but her hair is so soft still and I believe this is one of the ones that their hair glows in the dark. Um, so I'm tossing up between doing a custom with her and removing her face and like redoing it or just um, restoring her because but I don't have a good outfit like this outfit's just yeah she has a few defects bend and snap knees and her makeup's a bit chipped so yeah I think she will go in a custom but I'll definitely be keeping that hair on there look at those luscious thick curls oh once I wash that and comb that out she'll be gorgeous yeah she can go in the uh, custom pile all right, another one of these um, Disney dolls. I think this one's Belle as well. Yeah, this one's Disney, obviously from another line. Again, I don't know anything about these types of dolls. They're not really my thing. I prefer the fashion dolls. So she can go over there and get donated to some child to enjoy. Clearly not a doll. Actually, you can go over there with those dresses. Oh, we have a Bratz. Um, Sasha, I think. Sasha? I never had Bratz as a kid. I had Barbies. Sorry. But, um, yeah, I got her for a dollar. And her dress came in like a ba massive bag of doll clothes that I got for $12. Along with her shoes. I don't think these are the shoes that originally go with the dress, but they match enough. And she is a restoration project for sure. She's cute. Um, an LOL little sister. Hello. She has no pants. Um, so. Yeah, but she's, I don't know. I don't know what to do with her. I just have her. Um, she might get a makeover with the other OMG doll maybe. 
Maybe I can make them into a matching set or something so she can go over there. Um, oh, here we go. Another Barbie. $19.99 it says. She's got that snap knees. She's got wrist articulation, elbow articulation. That's pretty good. You don't see that in Barbies these days. Unless you get like made to move or something. But just in a normal Barbie. She's got a bit of uh, scratches on her body. Her makeup is very glittery. And even on her mouth. I wonder if that's... Um, a child's done that or... No, because if a child did it, it wouldn't be so perfect around the eyes, would it? I'm not sure. Green eyes as well. Very gorgeous. And this um, hair is obviously... Someone's been playing hairdresser with their Barbies. <laughs> but... Yeah, she'll be a custom. Oh, so many. Okay, uh, yeah. 2015, one of these ones with the molded on body. I don't know, she must have come in a bag because I don't usually go for these, but yeah, custom. Custom fodder. Oh. Is she a Disney? Yeah, she's a Disney. So, I don't even know. She wouldn't be Aurora because her eyes are brown. Maybe Rapunzel, Cinderella. Like I said, I don't know enough about these dolls, but yeah, some child somewhere will enjoy playing with her, I'm sure. What do we have here? Another one of those cheapies. Abby or whatever. Keep her head. Oh, a very fake looking Anna. Look at the, oh my gosh. Look at the rooting on this doll. There's not even holes in her scalp. They've literally just rooted the hairline and put it in braids. So cheap. And this dress is not... And look at these legs. <laughs> They're so skinny. I think I just got her for the head sculpt, to be honest. Because it's a cute sculpt for the head. But she needs some major, major work to be usable. Oh, I found this girl. And this pretty girl at the up shop as well. Ever after high, obviously. Um, oh, cover yourself. What's her name again? Um, I can't remember. Uh, I had Barbies as a child, and I've only recently got into Monster High, and this is my first ever after high, so I can't remember. But she's like the Queen of Hearts doll, right? She's definitely going to be a custom because she has seen better days. So much dirt on her face. And I just love their bodies. I love the articulation. There's a reason doll customizers love these lines. So, yeah, custom pile. Oh, now we're getting to a lot more of the, um, a lot more of the, you know, Barbies. So this one I just threw on the floor. Sorry, she's a glitter girls, which I got to harvest her hair because her hair was so soft and her clothes. She was only a couple of dollars at the op shop. Um, but I'm thinking, even though I don't generally like these types of dolls and I go more for the fashion dolls, I'm thinking I might have a go at customizing her because, I don't know, it seems a shame to leave her bald. Might at least give her some new hair and find a simple outfit for her and donate her. To the children to play with. You go over there. Get out of frame, guys. You're messing up my frame. My beautiful, beautiful framing. Okay. Oh, I got this girl yesterday. She's a Barbie. She has gorgeous natural hair in a little little updo there. This dress obviously was not hers, I don't think. Some ran. Oh, maybe it was. Oh, and I didn't even notice this. She had like little pink sneakers. Ooh, pink sneakers. I have the perfect doll for this to go with. They're not exactly like, hmm, interesting. So yeah, she'll be getting a new outfit. Oh, what's her tag say? Yeah, that's not a Barbie tag. Doll outfit. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Be getting restored i think i'll find her a nice outfit and display her because i love her hair and her face she's very pretty there we go sorry she's a bit out of focus oh she's got a crack i'll need to fix that up 
the glue. But yeah, restore pile. And another one of these Barbies with the molded on things, but she has a nice, yeah, she's a Barbie. She has a nice, um, nice face sculpt, so use her for something. Ooh, here we go. Who's this? $19.99. Beautiful, classic looking one. Proper poseable knees. No articulation in the arms though. Interesting. Yeah, she'll be a custom. Who's she? Oh, articulation in the arms, but not in the knees. If they were the same skin tone, which they're clearly not, I would have just like, you know, <laughs> Combined them somehow. <laughs> anyway, 2015 Mattel, it says on the back, but yeah, custom fodder. Ugh, Cindy. She is in poor condition. I have a plan to use her head for something and just, I don't know, get rid of the rest of her. She's a Mattel one. Yeah, right. Huh. That's why her body looks like a Barbie body, I guess. Bend and snap knees. But yes, she will be going in the custom pile. Is that not just a bit weird? Like, that's unnatural. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing to say. Off brand fashion doll. Off-brand Ken doll from Kmart, I believe. Oh yeah, that's right. I stole his feet for a custom. <laughs> um, because Kmart are doing a line of their own off-brand dolls, but with different like ability aids. So this is like a hearing aid. Some have a walking cane. Some have uh, wheelchairs and things like that so that's pretty cool that they're doing that and making it accessible because they're only like four dollars a doll I mean nothing fancy but he did come with a full outfit and and feet he came with feet and shoes but I've harvested those for other things <laughs> but yeah he's custom fodder at this point <laughs> oh Abby I think Abby has to be one of my favorite Monster High dolls because I love the colours in her hair, the blonde, and I know tinsel is a contentious issue, but I do like how it looks in her hair and her body glitter. The thing is though, her makeup is a bit scuffed, so I don't know if she's going to be a custom or a restore at this point, which is why I haven't done anything with her yet. Ooh, you will go in the middle, Abby. You are the first one in the middle. So many dolls. Okay, let's move the race doors over there. Let's move these oh, custom ones over there. Just to get a bit more room. Abby, you can stay there. You, you need some time to shine. Did I just kick the camera? I'm sorry. I'm a very professional at like this. First time ever. Ah, a snap star. Now, she's interesting for multiple reasons. One is, come on. Come on, guys. Like, you didn't think we'd notice? But her body's so small in comparison. It's very weird. Anyway. And uh, I think, because I actually... Sorry, Liv. I actually find her head to be quite uh, odd-looking in proportion with this body. So my thoughts were... Now that I've thrown the custom dolls over here. But my thoughts were... Putting Cindy's head on there because Cindy's head is a little bit less bulbous looking turning it into a custom hybrid and then going with it from there so definitely in the custom pile uh, I'm making a custom pile actually I want to see your scary eyes there we go okay what else um <laughs> told you there was a few of these <laughs> Another one of those fake fashion dolls with the hollow bodies, but pretty face, so. A very well loved uh, 
can of some sort or Mattel doll, Mattel mail doll of some sort. I don't know if it's specifically a can. I have no idea who he is. Focus. Hello. Can you even? Oh, I don't know. But it does say 2018 on it. He's shorter than Ken, so I don't know who he is, but he has articulation. Like, quite good articulation, actually. Which is nice. So, he's been, uh, you know, he's had a bit of facial tattoos. Maybe he's been, been experimenting with some new looks, but yeah. Let's, um, we'll, we'll customize him one day. A headless Laguna. Oh, yeah, I harvested her fins and her head for a project before. Oh, she's so pretty. It's a shame her makeup's all gunky on this side because the bar the old school Barbies with like this metallic. Well, that's 2010. That's not even that old school. But with the metallic makeup, it's just so nice. But yeah, <coughs> obviously well played with. Cleo with someone else's hand. Very pretty. I love the colours in his hair, but the hair's just so manky from the glue, as often happens with these Monster High dolls. But yeah, very pretty. Another Barbie. 2015, just a basic, average, normal Barbie. Another Cleo. And her hair, her hair is really sticky. Ugh. Yucky, yucky. She was like two bucks. One time I found a massive bin of Monster High dolls. Obviously, someone had donated their whole collection. And oh, I was looking for the other one of this forever. I have the perfect doll for these. Anyway, um, back to this. <laughs> Sorry, she got a bit excited. Yes. Um, anyway. What was I saying? Massive bin of Monster High dolls. A couple of dollars each and I just bought like 15 of them or something. So, yeah. Uh, I have one of these earrings in my accessories box and I didn't realise the other one was in here but I wanted it for a project so I'm going to keep that safely somewhere. Okay, let's keep going. I think she was a Mulan doll and I stole her arms for my self-portrait custom because I used a DC girl's body and the DC girl's body has like massive shoulders and uh, I don't so I stole Mulan's arms for that one anyway. Oh I started doing a custom on this head but it's split so I don't know I'll do something with that random skirt that I made at some point. Random Barbie head. Hello. Claudine's head, who I sculpted the mouth off and was going to turn into some sort of demon character, but I uh, haven't got around to doing it. Um, oh, Liv Doll's head from. Go away, I got rid of you. From a custom I did before where I took her head off and replaced it with a Mycene head. So I guess I've got a spare leaf head. Brat's boy head. Pants. <laughs> I don't know why the pants are in there. They should be in my other box. Anyway. A Peretta. She's so pretty and I love this. Her hair's seen better days, but yeah, she'll be a custom. Laguna, who has a sticky tape <laughs> underwear bikini on. I love Laguna too. Her face is quite cute. But, yeah. Monster High had such good sculpts. Hopefully the reboot's good. Oh, God. I was trying to do an uh, insert eyes on this Rochelle. A Laguna head, probably from that body we I took apart before. I don't know. Oh, I love the lip color on this one. Wait. Oh, this one's pink. This one has a green lip color. 
Ooh, I like that. Another Laguna with a random Barbie head. Ooh. Claudine with uh, no hands, but that's okay. So cute. Claudine's another one of my favorites. Claudine is actually the first doll I ever customized. And I made a version of the woofy doggy here out there out of a Claudine doll as well. This chick, what's her name? Rebecca or something, I think. I think that's who this is. She has cogs for eyes. She is so cool. I know everyone turns her into a steampunk doll, but I really want to turn her into a steampunk doll. She has gears. Her hair's all manky, as is expected. Gulia. Gulia. I want to do like a 1950s inspired look with her. Or a Taylor Swift inspired look, because I feel like she has Taylor's cheekbones. Um, another Laguna. Oh, what's her name? I tried getting all the fur off her at some point. Now I've got my Dremel, I should um, retry it. She's the big sister body. What is her name? This is her head, which I cut open. I can't remember her name, I can't remember her name. I'm sure it'll come to me at the end, but yeah. This is like maybe the second or third doll I did. I just hate how I did her face. She was originally in Equestria Girls, I believe. Rarity, but don't quote me on that because I can't quite remember. Um, yeah, so she's due for an update. Draculara's head. Oh, this one has caused me so much grief. I just love the skeleton sculpt, but I broke her neck, so I had to refashion a new neck, which you can kind of see. That's made out of epoxy sculpt. I, like, used a Draculara head because I lost the head somewhere or used it for something else. Rerouted her hair, which might harvest that hair and then I yeah I tried to blush her body but it just kept cracking and uh, it just wasn't working out for me so that's why she's gone back in the stock box the Bratz boy body another Cleo monkey hair missing an arm cute face oh this is that snap stars wig I was like why do I just have random hair Oh, she is so cute. Um, River Sticks, I think her name is. She's like the Grim Reaper's daughter. I love her face. She's a monster high. And her hand has the little... And the see-through legs. I think she's going to go with Abby here. Possible restore or like my own personal interpretation of the doll. Ah, uh -huh, Mulan's head. Remember I said I uh, stole her arms. <laughs> Here's her head. Massive eyelashes. A Claudine body. Draculara body with a missing neck peg. Another live uh, wig. Not as in good condition as the other one I had, but you know, it exists. And that's it. <laughs> oh, someone's skull. But yeah, that is all the dolls in my stock box that I have collected. Now, if your stock box doesn't look like mine, that's okay because this is over the past two or three years of going to op shops, buying lots and things like that. And I tend to go through it every now and then and choose which ones I'm going to donate, which ones I'm going to um, customize, restore, whatever, so that I know what I'm working with. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up if you did. Like and subscribe. I don't know. This is my first YouTube video. I don't know how this works. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Koala Dolls. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.